Welcome back to Fabinamo Mode Detailing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your turn signal light and your puddle light on your Ram 1500, 2500, and I believe the 3500. Let's do it. So my Ram is a 2013 Ram 1500. I've owned it now for a little less than a month, almost a month, but when I bought it, I knew that the turn signals and the puddle lights did not work. I bought it at a dealer, of course, um, they were saying, oh, it needs new mirrors. You know, the mirrors are $700 a piece, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I, whatever, I, you know, it's okay. I'll just go with regular mirrors, but I'm a mechanic. It's what I do for a living. I'm not a detailer by trade. I'm a mechanic by trade. So I got it home. I started diagnosing it and I found that I had power going to the turn signals and ground and I had power and ground going to the puddle lights. That's all you need. So I lo started looking around and the lights were for the, uh, Turn signals were over $100 for both from the dealer. I didn't price the puddle lights from the dealer, just to let you know. But this is what the original turn signal light looks like, because I already did the driver's side. And this is what the new one looks like. They look close, but as you notice, there's no black trim around this one. And the LEDs are actually different looking. Let's see if I can do this. I'm not the most coordinated on camera. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways, you guys, yeah, right there, you can see a big square versus small square. Um, these are what I think are probably brighter, but I don't know because I've never had them working on my truck, but they are a really orange color. I can tell you that much. These for two of them are $50 on Amazon and they're prime item and you get 5% off sometimes. So I got 5% off when I bought these um, and they're prime. I had it with them. Actually, I had them the next day. And then the puddle lights. This is what the original puddle light looks like. That goes in the bottom of the mirror right there. This is the one that I got for it. As you notice, it sticks out. See that? I think that's actually kind of cool. It's tinted. Now, I wish this wasn't tinted. It'd be a little bit brighter, but it's still a bright light. Um, now, when you're looking at it on Amazon, this looks clear. This whole housing looks clear. But once it's in the truck, you're going to notice it looks really good because it's black. Um, and then all you see is just that little thing sticking down. And then this is the inside of the old one. And then the new one has actual wires hanging off it. I kind of don't like that, but it works. No big deal at all. These are a company called Mo4, I guess Mo4 Kit. Um, they are a prime item as well. They're $40.99 for both, and you can get 10% off. So let's go out to the truck. Let me show you how to put them in, and I'll show you it's really easy. It's not hard at all. You guys can do it at home. So all you're gonna need to the puddle light is like a little tech driver, just a small screwdriver. And yes, you may mar it just a little bit, but it's on the bottom, it doesn't matter. Nobody's gonna see it. And you're just gonna get in that gap. It's not a very big gap. You're just gonna pull down just like that. See, unsnapped. So you have two connections. You can't get it wrong. I'm hoping you guys can see because I can't see the screen. You can't get it wrong because one is small, one is big. Just gonna pull them off of there, just like that. There's the old puddle light. And then the new puddle light. I can tell you these do not fit perfect, but they look fine when you get done. You're just gonna plug them in. Now before you put it back all the way back together, make sure it works. I've done that enough in my career that I know better than that anymore. So you're just gonna unlock it and the puddle light should turn on. Yep, there we go. Puddle light did turn on. Hopefully you guys can see that. Lock it, puddle light turns off. Puddle light turns on when you unlock it. All right, so we're good there. Now is where you kind of have to stick the wires in just wherever you can get them to go with these aftermarket ones. Okay. Just like that, light goes like that. So you're gonna put these back tabs in first, these back tabs, these are gonna go in first and there's spots for them to go. And then the front tab, you're gonna just kind of like press in. There you go. Puddle light is on. As you can see, I'm hoping you guys can see that. Eh, it's too bright. There you go, it is in. All right, we'll move on to the turn signals. So I have never replaced these in my career as a mechanic. So I did look it up on YouTube. Motor City Mechanic has a fantastic video on how to do this. And that's the reason that I was like, okay, that's no big deal. I can do that, no problem. So what, what you wanna do is you wanna take this mirror and you wanna push it all, oh, I got the mirror kind of open. Push it all the way in and then push it down. That gives you room to get your, your hands back here because the only thing holding this on is a round clip and I'll show you. It's right back here. You're gonna wanna get in behind it. Maybe. There we go. You always swear you're gonna break it. Right there, these clips. Hoping the camera's picking that up, that clip right there. 
these clips are the only thing that holds it in just holds it onto this round piece because this round piece is what allows you to move your mirror around up and down side to side now right inside here is your connector i'm hoping you guys can see that let me look Right here is your connector right here and then you have a t15 torx bolt or screw right there so you can go in you're gonna disconnect the connector there's my screwdriver at okay it's disconnected you're gonna take your t15 go in there you do not want to drop it and lose it. Use a screwdriver if you can that has a magnet. It's like magnetic. There you go. Just gonna set that up here so I don't lose it. Ah. Okay, I already messed up. Cause I need to push the light out. And Motor City Mechanics says the easy way to do it. And I already did the driver's side, like I said. So once the screw is in there still, push out on the screw. There you go. It just popped the light free. Tell my kids to get out of the picture here. Pop the light free. There you go. There's the old light. Now what you want to do is put the new one on. And before you mount it, actually we'll just do it like this for you guys to see it. Just for, for right now. Before you mount it, check make sure it works. You can use your remote. There, see? It works. You can use your remote, you can go in and turn the hazards on whatever you want to do now when I put the other side on I didn't line it up perfect the first time just FYI so you want to put your light in and then push it straight in I don't know if you heard that or not on the camera I hope you did it kind of snaps in and you're gonna put this screw back in You don't need to go all He-Man on it. You just want to get it in there tight. Right there. Light is on. Looks good. Plug it in. And need to tighten just a little bit more, I think. Okay. It's in there. It's tight. Like I said, you don't want to go all crazy on it. This is the part that I hate. So you got to line these up. I'm sorry if the wind's messing the microphone up. You want to line these up. And what you're gonna do, use your whole hand, push on the back of the mirror. You swear you're gonna break it by the way it sounds. There you go. It is on. So there is the light. Let me just go turn the flashers on. So I'll show you, I already did this side and the puddle light on this side. Turn the flashers on. That is really sunny out right now. It's really bright. And there you go. Now this one is working. That's it. That's all there is to doing it. All right, so it is getting dark. Let me show you guys what the puddle lights look like. Approach lights, whatever you want to call it. You see, there you go. Lights up the ground nicely. Turn them off so you know how much light you're actually getting. There. Go to this side, do the same thing. It's got grass over here. As you can see, the grass is lit up. And there you go. Now let's look and see what turn, so, turn signals look like at nighttime. We'll just turn the flashers on because I'm curious. I haven't seen them. They never worked since I got the truck. See how bright these aftermarket ones are. Oh yeah. Those are plenty bright enough at nighttime. During the day the sun was beating down. It was kind of hard to tell how, how bright they were gonna be, but and those are that's messing the camera up. There you go, that's what everything looks like. Look, the approach lights are on as well, the puddle lights. Easy, easy install of 20 minutes. Cost you less than 100 bucks to get the approach lights and the turn signal lights. 
So there you have it. It is quick and easy. It doesn't take any time at all. You can do both sides in probably less than 20 minutes. Um, the OEM turn signals and f or, uh, puddle lights are now history. They're gone. They has 67,000 miles on it and these are already out. So these are obviously made pretty junk. And you know, the aftermarket might be worse. I have no idea, but I know it's a lot cheaper. You guys, if you buy it off of Amazon, I will put these down in my Amazon store. The link to the, to my store is down in the description of this video where you can go and buy these for your Ram. It does make a difference. I think it looks so much better when the turn signals are on, when you hit the unlock button coming up to the car at night. Um, hopefully I showed you guys what it looks like at nighttime. And uh, that's it for this video. It's a quick and easy video. I know it's not a detailing video, but I like to do mechanical videos as well because that's what I do for a living. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there and then smash that bell so you get notified the next time I upload a video and we will see you guys next time.